Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Manual D Duck Design One Story Home Part 11. In this video, we will talk about how to size the ducts and verifying the velocities. All right, so let's get into it. So in the previous video, what we did is we initiated the process of uh, placing the duct layout. So the duct layout is depends on the designer. So you can always put a rigid duct, but usually what we have in this case is a one story home and then we have an attic. So in the attic, we usually put this flex. So in the, in the, in the attic, what we're doing is this flex. Okay. So, uh, in the previous video, we hid the catalog. So we're going to put back the catalog right there just for the sake of putting that. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what we have right now is the supply and the supply is connected to the, this triangle or, or this could be a box. Uh, it could be called distribution box or junction box. Okay. So from the junction box, this is going to be considered a supply flex duct. Okay. And then after the box, we're going to have branches. So this would be branch one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So now we're going to, we're going to take care of the other sides of the duct. So in here we have one, two, three, four, five registers right here. Okay. So in here we have one, two, three, four, five branches. So this is going to be interesting. Let's, let's continue with this one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not liking this so much, but we're going to have to do it. Okay. So, um, let's continue with this, uh, with the same process. Okay. So we're going to select one of the dots in here, one of the takeoffs. So we're going to go here and do a duct. See, that's my duct. And then from there, I'm going to connect this register. See? I'm going to connect this other register and the long ones right here. Another one. And then from here to here, we're connecting one more. There we go. So one, two, three, four, and five right here. Five right there. Okay. So th those are my connections, but one is not connecting right now. I'm just going to move it to the side and now it's connecting. Okay. Okay, so again, we have one supply and we have one, two, three, four, five branches. And I could always move this triangle anywhere. That's what they say. Okay, let's go again. See, no, it doesn't move. Okay, let's go again. Let's try again. There we go. No, it doesn't move. There we go. It moves. And it moves along with the with every single branch. Okay. So now we have two supplied registers, one and two with different branches. And we have one, two, three final registers right there. So what I'm going to be doing is just for the sake, let's see in here, I'm going to look at washer and dryer. I'm going to, I'm going to locate this register a little bit farther up right here, right there. And then for the closet, the same thing, I'm going to be locating it right here, possibly just to give more space. Okay. There we go. So in other words, what we're going to be doing, and as you can see, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to teach you a trick in here. Sometimes when you say that you want to select this, uh, that, but by mistake, you can select this, which is the room layout. And if you move it, look at this, it's, it does, it, it's not very comfortable. So what are we, what, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to lock, I'm going to lock the the room layout. How am I going to be doing that? As you can see in here, it says building. I'm going to double click building on the tree. So double click and it's locked. And then now it's not going to move. The, you're not, you're not going to be able to select the, the room layout at all. See, as you can see, but at the same time, this gets gray out. That's the issue. But if you want to get rid of this issue, the only thing you're going to do is check and then check ducts. So I'm going to uncheck ducts and check again. So this is enabled again. That's a trick because now in this case, if you want to move anything, you're not going to affect the room layout. See room layout. You cannot select it because it's locked. So that's a pretty good trick. Now what we're going to be doing is again, I'm going to be selecting another duct. See, I'm going to, make a supply duct 
it cannot come from here because it, this is return it, it's gonna come from the same supply right here and then from there i'm gonna have one then two then three branches there we go three branches and again this depends on the designer there might be di different ways you can connect these registers maybe you you can have only two triangles or instead of three junction boxes okay all right now once i did that why is this giving me already a duck size because remember we already have our duck preferences when we go to the duck preferences this is already giving me in the range of 600 to 700 fpm and it has to be flex and you can always create your own library if you want to do other ones see flex ducks manual the attic depends on you okay you can always change everything on the settings for uh efficiency all right okay there we go now step number two i, I know it's gonna be look it's going to be looking a little bit messy, but once you size the ducts, you can always do what we call polishing. You're going to be do what we call also in HVAC is cosmetics. Let's just do cosmetics. In other words, whenever you do cosmetics, is you're making it look nicer and more professional. Uh, let's give an introduction of cosmetics or it's not a professional name. It's just like uh, what we like to call it is like. Let's clean it up a little bit. So what I'm going to be doing is unlocking the building, see, and I'm locking it. And then I'm going to be moving this great room, see. You hold, you click in it, hold shift, and you're going to be moving this label here. Move this label right here. Move this label right here, just to, so it looks better, see. Move this label right here. Room tag right here, see. Again, how am I doing that? Click on the bedroom, hold shift click on the room tag and then you move it okay see there you go that's what i'm what i'm calling put makeup or polish your work there you go i'm gonna i'm gonna be locking it again see and this is again grayed out i'm gonna check and uncheck there we go now again see we have six in here six in here see five in here i'm just going to make it nicer a little bit see five this is five that inch and then this is not showing anywhere there we go okay that, that's good see there we go this four is not showing anywhere there you go five right here six right here okay perfect okay perfect now next step is going to be verifying the velocities so what does what is the velocity the velocity has to be between let's see what aka says aka indicates for indicates for trunks recommended 600 maximum 700 so as long as it's around 700 i'm okay with that so 710 okay no problem so let's go continue with that i know it's more than 700 710 is not a big deal because in the new aka it even says until 900 in the new aka but as long as it's around 700 it's okay all right so let's go and check what are my velocities okay so let's start only with supply trunks and uh, what i consider trunks are the main ducts so the main duct that is connected to the system is this 14 inches 14 inches let's uh, we're going to be checking on the on the velocity this is 595 what if i put 12 if i put 12 it's going to be 810 so it could be 12 or it could be 14 so we're going to be putting just 14 for now and then let's put on this 10 what is this 10 700 uh, 753 uh, let's put no in here and then let's see if it's 12 12 is 523 and then for 10 is 753 let's leave it in 753 uh, i know it's more than 700 but as long as it's around 700 i'm okay with that okay so what about this six six is 753 oh the same perfection so we already took care of the velocity of these supply ducts okay another way to check the velocity of the supply duct is if you go to what we call the trunks list in here see in this icon you're going to be able to check trunks and return branches for the entire house okay so 
T1, ST2, ST3 are the supply trunks and RB, RB1 and 6 are the return supplies, I mean trunks. So supply trunk 1 and 2, 3, we have which velocity? Right here we have velocity in FPM. 795, okay. 753, okay. 753, okay. Sometimes in here you're going to be able to see 800 or 900, then you have to reduce it, okay? All right, so everything is looking good so far. And then what we're going to be doing is, let's go here again. So supplies are okay. Now let we're going to be checking on the branches. What does what are the branches in this case? So for the branches, it says the same thing, 600 to 700. So as long as it's like around 700, it's okay. Let's go here. So what about this branch? This is going to be 697. Okay, that's going to be 697. This is going to be 721. This is going to be sent. This is going to be 776. That's good. It's around 700. This is going to be 671. Oh, this is so low. 367. But the issue is that we cannot go lower than four inches so if i put of course i'm gonna be able to increase this let's put three three oh that's perfect three inch duct but that's not realistic most of the owners are usually saying that okay let's minimum is four inches so let's leave it in four inches in that case for five that's 795 700 is still and then let's go here what is this there we go 791 this is gonna be 680 Five, uh, uh, 689 what about for these uh, four inches four inches right here too yeah the same thing it's low but this is the minimum right okay so now let's go with this that's gonna be okay there we go so we already verified the sizes of every single uh, flex duct now what we're gonna be doing is just we're gonna be polishing a little bit more no it's already polished so let's take a very quick look on the total effective length see the total effective length in here now it's giving me for supply 147 and for return 67 okay so my friction rate is still giving me okay it's perfect actually my friction rate is very good so everything is looking so far so good and this is uh, we're, we're going to continue in the process in the next video okay all right i hope you enjoyed this video and leave any comment if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know all right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for checking my channel.